In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add Excel data to specific places in a Word document. In this Excel document, I have um, the customer name, the account number, and the invoice number, but I also have uh, two, ta two tables of data or two ranges of data. What the first range is here and the second range is here. Now what I would like to do is I would like to add this data to uh, a, a Word document in specific places. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to the macros, I'm going add to Word and I'm going to run. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my Word document and so here we have here we have um, the customer name, the uh, account number, and the invoice and yet and yet I have my first range of data inserted into after the first paragraph and I have my second range of data after about the fifth paragraph in here. So let me show you how I did this. I'm going to close this and not save it. And so what we're going to do is we're going to bring up the Word document that we had. So here's the Word document that I had here. Now I have the client name, um, account number and invoice number here and that, that's pretty self-explanatory but I have I would like to put the table of data in between here so what we're going to do we're on the Word document and what we're going to do is we're going to go to insert on the menu bar and we're going to insert a bookmark I have my Word uh, minimized a little bit so so we go to links and we go to bookmarks now you see I have table one and table two. So if we click on table one and we go to, I have put this in this, this field here. Now let's click on table two and then let's go to that one. And I have placed it there. Now to add a bookmark using this file, let's put another bookmark um, Let's go further down. Let's put a third bookmark here. And so I'm going to go links and I'm going to go bookmarks. And so I, I'm going to put, um, I'm going to change this to table three and add. And so that if I open up my bookmarks again, you have table three and that would that would bring you to this spot right here. So let me close this down and let me show you what the code and how I refer to these bookmarks. So this is my code and basically um, I <clears throat> am declaring range one and range two and um, this worksheet as this work this workbook sheet one and OBJ word is an object obg word is create object word application now so what i'm doing here is i'm um, creating the words we're opening up the word application we're opening up the specific file that i created and then what we're doing is we're starting at the top of the document and we're looking through until we find the little square brackets around client name and then the next thing we're doing is we're going back to the top of the document and we're looking for the account number and then whatever we have in A1 will be put into client name. Whatever we have in A2 will be account number. And the same thing for um, invoice number. It's going to look for that and then put out whatever's in the value of A3. So we've covered some of that before. What we're going to do now is we're going to look for bookmarks. So I'm setting range 1 equal F3 to L6. And what you need, you can do also is if you don't know how long your data is going to be, you can specify F and with the last row so you get all the data. And what I'm doing is I'm range one copy. 
and now I'm opening up my Word, my Word document, and I'm looking for the bookmarks tab one, range, paste Excel table, linked Excel is false. I don't want it linked back and forth. Word formatting true so that it puts the boxes around it. And now I go end with, and now I do the the same thing. So my second range is uh, T3 to Z9, and once again, I open up my document and I'm looking for the tab 2 in my Word document. And then I'm placing all of the data in that, that, that spot. So now we've copied the range of data in the exact spots on the Word document. I will, of course, include the code in the description of my video. Please subscribe.